What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver walkthrough. Okay, so, uh, yeah, we did a thing. We we're finally here in Ecritic City, and, well, we met up with, uh, with, with Bill. We did a whole bunch of stuff, you know, and, uh, well, now it's time for us to explore Ecritic City in all its glory. Now, first things first, guys, let's go right in here, well, I want to say... Huh. Is it this guy? Yes. Uh, you're in uh, you're on an adventure with your Pokemon. Well, what's an adventure without treasure hunting? Am I right or am I right? Yes, you are right. Good, you understand the true spirit of an adventure. I like that. Take this with you, and we get ourselves the dowsing machine, which, of course, is an item finder, and this will enable you to actually find some hidden items that, well, yeah, you can't really see, you know. And, of course, Burnt Tower is a place where you could actually find it out. Before we leave, uh, before we go anywhere, let's go right ahead and go here and read this. The history of Agritech City. Yes, we will. Uh, we would like to read it. In Agritech, there are two towers. Each tower was uh, the roost of a powerful flying Pokemon. But one of those towers burnt to the ground. The two Pokemon haven't been sen uh, seen since. Keep reading. Yes, Agritech was also home to three Pokemon that raced around town. They were said to have been born of water, lightning, and fire but they cannot contain their excessive power. So they say they ran, the, the three ran like uh, wind in, or wind off into the grassland. Hmm. wonder what those three Pokemon are. I wonder, I wanna know. So yes, Ecrotech City is home to the fourth gym leader, Morty, but unfortunately he is not there at the moment. And it is also home to the Kimono Girls, the Kimono Studio. And if you come right in here, you will see this. Hey, hey! Hmm. Stop dancing such a serious dance. Show me something like a hula dance. You mustn't push such a request on me. Huh? Are you telling me you don't respect what the customer wants? Oh, wow. <laughs> well, then I'll show you how to dance. I'll show you a great one. Ha 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 ha. And, well, as you guys can see, he is not really dancing. He's just twirling and all that crud. And, well, let's see what this guy has to say. What's the deal with the Team Rocket grunt? Messing with my Kamada girl. You are a trainer, aren't you? Please help her. Okay, well, let's go ahead and help her. And this guy's still spinning around. <laughs> Who are you? You dare get in my way? Yes, I do. Okay, so here we go. Taking on a good old buddy, uh, the Team Rocket Grunt. And, well, he's going to be coming out with his coffee right here. So let's go with Cinder. And, well, let's speed it up right here with a fl flame wheel. And just like that, we defeat this guy. Easy. Oh, no. You made me look like a villain. Oops. I have an important mission. If they find out I was wasting time here, they'll make me start over as a lowest uh, Team Rocket grunt. I better leave now. And, well, that right there progresses a little story. And, well, this Kamado girl's going to be like, you must be Draven, correct? That was indeed excellent. Kind of strong. Good at raising Pokemon as well. That person does know what to look for in Pokemon or people. <laughs> that was just me talking to myself. Never mind. Well, okay, so that's that, but after defeating the Team Rocket Grunt, this guy right here is going to be like, Wonderful! You were so courageous for your age. It was a rare sight to see. I want you to have this. Don't be shy. Take it. And, well, here it is, guys. We got ourselves the HMO3 Surf. This right here is a very, very useful item because, uh, well, it will open up everything. And I mean everything. So... What is uh, going to happen right here? Yeah, we're going to be teaching that move to our good old buddy. Let's see. Our good old buddy. Uh, Lucky. And if I remember correctly, Lucky loves uh, water type moves. Very, very powerful water type moves. So let's go right ahead and grab that. And take away the water gun technique because we really don't need that no more. Okay, so there it is. And Lucky has learned Surf. Yes. Okay, so that is that. And, well, let's go ahead and continue on right here. Now, the next place you have to visit is the Pokemon uh, Tower, the Burnt Tower right here. The tower used to be here. I heard that it uh, used to be much taller before it burned into fire. And, yes, destroyed by a mysterious fire. Please stay away from it. It's unsafe. So, this right here is where everything will start over. And look at that, the Burnt Tower. You can see everything. And right down below, you will see the legendary uh, beasts or dogs and all that stuff. And this guy right here is like, my name is Usain. I'm 
I'm on a trail of a Pokemon named Suicune. And you are? Draven, glad to meet you. I heard rumors of Suicune is here, so I came to look. Take a look at the basement, though. Uh, through the, through the, through the, or through the hole in the floor. There, Suicune is down there. I could go downstairs, but I know it would run away in no time. I know. I have tried it many times. Okay, so we can't go there just, oh yeah, we can. But before we do anything, uh, you know, there's some items calling my names, and yes, Pokemon calling my names too. This is home to coughing. Be aware of that, guys, and we can't go through here. So let's go right ahead and let's go right ahead and use some repels because we really, 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 really don't want to be battling against some Pokemon right now. Wild Pokemon, I should say. So here we go. We found ourselves a repel, and well, let's go right ahead and. Well, would you look at that. That red head does not surprise me. Let's go ahead and switch that out. Let's go and... Let's go ahead and use Togepi. Yeah, it's a must. Okay. He's looking at us. All cockeyed and everything. Silver. Oh, it's you. You must be here to catch the legendary Pokemon to make yourself look strong. That is only a dream. You see, the legendary Pokemon suits a trainer like me who has sworn to become the strongest trainer. A battle with Team Rocket Grunts is just right for you. Wow. Can you say, can you say a-hole? I just want to say that. Okay, so here we are taking on rival Silver yet again. And he's going to be coming out with his Ghastly. Yes, I know exactly what you do. I know what moves you're going to make. And you can do your mean look all you want, but guess what? I'm still gonna lay it the smack it down on your not so candy ass right here. So here we go. Extra sensory for the win. And look at this. Say goodbye to Gassy. You know, extra sensory is a is a godsend for Togepi because <laughs> it wouldn't have worked before. And look at that, Togepi get some experience points right here. So he's coming out with a Magnemite. So let's go right ahead and switch it out right here. Let's let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and uh, make this Magnemite pay right here. So here we go. Let's go with a Flame Wheel attack. And Flame Wheel does its thing. Look at this Magnemite, no more. Okay, alrighty. And well, he's gonna be coming out with a Crocodile. now. So again, let's go ahead and switch out. Let's counter this guy's Pokemon with a little bit of Fluff Volt right here. Okay, what's up Fluff Volt, how's it been? So here's Croconaut, look at all mean and everything, but Thundershock will do something, but here comes a scary face. Probably a waste of move right here because, well, you know, Fluff Volt's still, sm uh, he's still slower than this Pokemon. So here we go, Thundershock, nearly does it, and here we go again. Scary face is not gonna do anything, man, seriously. Alrighty, there we go, Thundershock does the trick and uh, there you go look at that okay and Fluffold grows to level 22 just like that and well here comes a Zubat so we're gonna continue on right here and well let's see out of desperation weak people sometimes in okay or are okay five for fighting back okay okay well we're gonna speed this up because yes we are confused but guess what we still beat them yes and, well, just like that, we have defeated rival Silver. <laughs> I'm not fighting with another weekly never again. It's just too much playing around. So, man, I really don't get this guy. I seriously don't. Oh, whatever. You would never be able to catch the legendary Pokemon anyway. Okay. Alrighty. <laughs> okay, flipping him off, and, well, let's talk to this guy. He's like, my name is Morty. I am the Ecrotic Gym Leader. Because my old friend Yusin is here on the trail of Suicune, I decided to investigate the Burnt Tower. Ecrotech has a legend, uh, legend about these legendary Pokemon. Suicune, Entei, and Raikou. Or Raikou. Or Raikou. How do you pronounce it? I don't even know, guys. You guys can hate me all you want. As the gym leader of Ecrotech, I must have a proper understanding of it. You should. I mean, you are the gym leader. And, oh, uh, crap baskets. Okay, before we do that, let's go ahead and battle some trainers. Get some experience points, you know, make our Pokemon stronger than ever. So here we have this guy. Don't worry, we fire breathers know the true power of uh, fire better than anyone. Okay, so let's speed this up right here and go with an extra sensory. And look at that, level 18 Togepi. Here's coming out with a another uh, Pokemon. 
can't even pronounce it, uh, coughing, and well, let's go with the peg attack. Peg attack again, you will not poison me, you can smoke screen all you want. Yes, we're gonna peck, peck again, and yes, we win the pecking attack. Here comes a Growlithe, so let's go with Lucky right here, and Lucky with a Surf attack for the win, and just like that, we win! Okay, so let's see, what is this? What is this doohickey? Look at that, we found ourselves an antidote. That's always nice, and here we have another Fire Breather. Let's see what he has to say. I'm practicing my Fire Breathing in the Burnt Tower. Don't try this at home, kids. Okay! So here it is, guys, taking on Fire Breather Richard. Has one Pokemon, and it's gonna be a Charmeleon. I'm a little jealous right now, so here comes Extra Sensory. And try it one last time, and for the win. And yeah, Togepi is just getting some points right here. It's pretty awesome. It really is. Okay, so let's see. Hmm. Yeah, there are some rocks right here. I don't think. Yeah, we do have a. Uh, we do have Rock Smash. The only problem is. Let's see. Yeah, we do have the HMO6 uh, Rock Smash. The only problem is that I don't want to use it with any one of my Pokemon right here. So, I'm probably going to have to, like, switch out a Pokemon. Yeah, I'm going to have to switch out a Pokemon or something like that. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be blocking our way right there. So, let's go right ahead. And, actually, you know what? We haven't even started the, the activity yet. So, or the event. So, what's going to happen is I'm going to switch out a Pokemon. It's just so we can get this item right here. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys. So we got a Pokemon that knows Rock Smash. And believe it or not, off screen, when I was doing the whole, like, headbutting thing, when I got headbutt, I got myself an Apom. So we taught it Rock Smash. It's not like we're going to use him or anything like that. So there we go. Apom. Bam. And there we go. We found ourselves an HP up. Now, I think there is a hidden item right here. So... It never hurts to break this item or break this rock. And there we go. No Pokemon. And I don't. Yeah, okay. So why are we. Why are these Pokemon attacking me? Because I'd have no repel. And well, if you click on this, there's nothing. Yeah, so. It never hurts to, it never hurts to try, guys. If uh, you have a. Well, if there's a gap right there. Uh, what the hell? Okay, if you have the gap right there and think that there's an item. So let's go ahead and use one of these repels. I really do hate getting attacked by these uh these random ass pokemon so let's go right ahead and check out the legendary beasts so here we go the burnt tower you cross this the three legendary beasts will take a look at you and they're gonna be like run so is ente but suicune right here is like game recognizes game and well because of that you seen's gonna be all jealous he's like did you see it Suicune raised like a blur, right in front of my eyes. I have been chasing Suicune for almost 10 years, but I've never been this close. I'm all choked up. By the way, it was clear to me that Suicune took a notice of your presence. Equitex uh, leader or legendary Pokemon are said to have uh, to come to people only when they recognize their talents. Perhaps I should be more aggressive towards Suicune. Anyways, anyway, anyway, Draven, we will meet again. Oh, God. The only one, the only person that's more annoying than, uh, what's his face? The kid from Sword and Shield is that guy. And, crud, we can't grab that item yet. And, but we will be finding ourselves an antidote, which is always nice. And, well, let's see. There's nothing right here except, uh, just stones. Unfortunately, that, this is pretty much it, guys. Like, you can't really get anything, but you, you have triggered the whole, uh, roaming Pokemon event. Where now, if you're just traveling and hitting the grass, you might run into these Pokemon. And then eventually, you will be able to see them on, I would like to say, the Pokedex. So, that's a big plus. Now, after doing the whole event right here, there, this old man appears. Talk to him. He's going to be like, in the distant past. When this tower burnt in a fire, three nameless Pokemon perished in it. Then, a rainbow, a rainbow hued Pokemon descended from the sky and somehow brought them back. The people were afraid of the power such as a rainbow hued Pokemon had shown. They tried to control it by force. The nameless Pokemon made no attempt to fight back. Instead, their great sorrow compelled them to leave. This legend has been passed down by Ecrotype Gym Leader. Me. I was a trainer way back when. <laughs> so, 
that could be a big, big thing for later because, you know, he was, he is saying a tale that, you know, only gym leaders know. Anywho, guys, this has been uh, the episode for the Ecritech City, or Ecritech City. In the next episode, we're going to be going up against Morty, the fourth gym leader, and hopefully we don't screw it up or anything like that. So, yeah, um, uh, let's see, what else, what else? Probably off screen, I will be training some Pokemon. Maybe, maybe, because, you know, now that we triggered this whole thing, yeah, it will be easier, for, well, it, it's going to be, you know, obvious for us to actually find a legendary roaming Pokemon. So, we'll see what happens. Anywho, thank you guys again for watching, thank you guys again for being patient as always, thank you guys for the donations and all that stuff. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver walkthrough. See you guys.